Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I am actually going to be doing a cooking video today. My brother got a turkey um, earlier this evening. And so I'm going to be cooking it up tomorrow for lunch. So it's only going to be like three of us though, so I'm not going to use all the meat. But I don't think I've ever actually cooked turkey, so I'm excited to try it out. I have a few good recipes I'm picking from that my friends gave me, so I'm going to figure that out and soak it in something. And stay tuned. Alright, so this is all the meat my brother got from his turkey earlier, so... Like I said, I'm just going to get a few pieces out because there's only a few of us eating and then also getting something and make it tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm going to pick out a few pieces of meat. I don't really know how much to use because I'm going to be cutting them up in the little nugget size. So I'm just going to rinse them off and then we'll see from there. Cutting up the meat into little like chicken nugget size, and yeah, that's about it. All right, this is the finished product, and I'm gonna sit it in the fridge, and we'll start back up tomorrow. All right guys, I am going to cook up the turkey for lunch today, and then I'm gonna do some sides with it. So I'm gonna figure out some sides real quick, and then I'm gonna put together a little breading so I can fry it. So I'll let you know what I do for that. All right, so I found this little seasoning pack. It's um, a zesty ranch, and I'm gonna add this for some flavor, and then I'm gonna do some flour, and some pepper, and maybe a few other seasonings, we'll see. Alright, so I made the breading and now I'm going to be making some green beans and mashed potatoes for a side. So I'm going to get started on that. Alright, potatoes are seasoned. I just used just uh, chicken bouillon, pepper, garlic, salt, and a few just random ones. And then green beans, same thing. And I'm about to start on the turkey. I'm gonna brown a little butter so I can put it on top of my mashed potatoes. So All right, start. so I am just gonna pour um, some oil in here and get to frying some of the turkey. I have the um, I have the mashed potatoes going and the green beans. So I'm about to get started on breading it and putting it in the fryer. Just waiting for it to heat up. All right, now I am going to start on the turkey and I cut them up into little nugget size like I showed you yesterday and I'm gonna get to frying them. Green beans, mashed potatoes, and I'm still browning the butter, and then the turkey's taken right now. It looks pretty good. Alright, I'm taking off the turkey because it looks, looks done to me. And then we're going to fry up the rest and make up a plate. Alright guys, this is the finished plate. I'm going to go bring it to my brother and he can do a taste test. But overall, it looks really good and I can't wait to eat it. And I'll let you know how it tastes. All right, Johnny's gonna do a taste test. Okay. Try the turkey first. This turkey had a good life on Earth. Johnny's the one who killed this turkey. Let's see if it has a good. Just pick it up and bite it. Okay. That's good. Johnny proof. Green beans are spectacular. I put brown butter on the mashed potatoes. 
it's a yes for me. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Outstanding job. All right, I'm going to go have Johnny tell a story on how he got his turkey and everything that went down. So let's go see what he has to say. All right, now Johnny's going to tell us the story. Okay. So my goal for this turkey season has been to shoot a turkey with my new 410, my Stevens Model 401 turkey. And I have a Fiat red dot on there. That was my goal for the season with some Federal TSS 410 bore. I got off work yesterday, drove straight up to the hills, tried to get one in the afternoon. Got there set up, no luck, no turkey sounds, no turkeys in sight. I started walking around. I walked all over, found everything but turkey. I was about to give up for the day, for that afternoon, and I decided I'd hit my new, I have a peacock call from Primo's, turkey locator call. I hit that and every turkey in the area fired up. All the gobblers, there's about four or five gobblers all around me. I then proceeded to have a combination of peacock and hen turkey and somehow managed to call in two gobblers to about 30 yards from me. However, they were on the neighbor's property, so I couldn't shoot them, and they would not come over. Tried to sweet talk them in, and they never would come. So they went up the hill, they, they got off the neighbor's property, crossed the road, went up the hill, and these turkeys have a, a pattern. They, in the morning they go up this hill on the private, and in the afternoon they come back down. So I figured I would run across our property over the hills and mountains, they're not in the mountains, but walk over and try to cut this turkey off. I was running through the brush, and I got to the spot where I thought around I, where I thought they might come out. And then my turkey jumped out and we both startled each other. And I shot him with my 410 at about 20 yards maybe. And 410 did not disappoint, I folded him like a wet blanket. He didn't even budge when he was on the ground. But it was super fun, first afternoon bird, first 410 bird, and first double bearded turkey. Uh, had two beards, had one that was 10 and a 16th, one that was 6 and a 16th. Uh, spur had one that was an inch long, the other one was broke off, so it was a half inch and full fan, really pretty tom. Um, if anybody keeps track of turkey scores, it scored 66.75, which is a pretty good tom. And uh, I brought it home, and Olivia fried it, and I ate it. And that was the story of my turkey. All right, guys, thanks for watching.